Hey everyone and welcome back to the Redefine Effects YouTube channel. So today I'll show you how to add bloom and glare to your lights in V-Ray as well as other lens effects. So first let's just make a simple light under lights V-Ray and I'll say V-Ray light set it to disk and just drag out a regular disk light. And now I'll just go under rendering V-Ray and say start IPR. So when the frame buffer loads up, it's possible that you're not gonna see anything on the right hand side. So you just need to double click to have this show up. And then you can select lens effects and you can just say enable bloom and glare, right? So this is before and this is after. So then you can just play with the size. You can also control the intensity then this bloom setting controls the blend between bloom and glare. So the easiest is just to show you what it does. So if I raise this all the way to one, you get more of a glow that's even on all sides. And as you lower this down, you get those streaks to show up. So I kind of like that round look more. So I'll raise this up. And this threshold basically tells V-Ray how bright does a pixel have to be in order to generate bloom and glare. In our case, it's not really gonna do anything because the light is producing the same intensity all around. But if you had a bunch of lights, um, this would really make a difference to control where will the bloom and glare actually show up. So if you lower this value, it will generate more um, bloom and glare. Then you can also saturate the light more. So I can, if I raise this, you can see we're gonna get more yellow colors. So then you have this cold warm setting. So by default, the bloom and glare are tinted into warm colors. But if you wanna make them cold, you can just enable this and they're gonna be turned more into the blue colors spectrum. So again, this is off, this is on. Next up, you have the aperture shape. So right now we have six streaks, six lines. So if I change this to eight, you can see we're gonna get eight of them. So you can just play with that to see how that works. So maybe I'll set it back to six. You can also rotate the blades around um, to get a different look. And you can also blur them um, to make them blend into each other more. Next setting is this peripheral grading. So it's basically generating this sort of rainbow. Um, all of this is coming from real world cameras, right? So if you pointed something really bright into your DSLR, you would get this to show up uh, in the image as the light is sort of bouncing through the lens assembly of the camera. So you get this sort of a rainbow circle effect. And again, you can just play with that to control how much it expands. And you can also control its length. So you can get some very realistic looking or abstract looking effects for the light sources. So maybe if you were doing something like a retro 80s music video and you needed the lights um, to look very sort of, you know, 80s, um, you can play with this to get that disco look. So I'll just turn that off for now and then we can go down to lens scratches see what that does right so that's just generating a different look for the bloom and glare again you can control how many streaks so i'm gonna do maybe six also notice that you can change the pattern over here so right now it's set to random i can also set it to stripes and get something like this i can set it to square and i can set it to hexagonal Right, so some very interesting effects that are pre-built into V-Ray that you might not even know that they are here that can add a lot of realism to your scene. Just like always, I would encourage you to play with these settings and see for yourself how they adjust the image. That's the best way to learn. I'm just giving you a quick overview here, sort of just having fun going over these. So next up, we have Lens Dust, right? So just a different look again for the bloom and glare. I can change the pattern from random to square get something like this going or hexagonal to get something like this. Next, you can also load in an image as an obstacle for the bloom and glare. So this is to simulate sort of dust or any kind of occlusion inside of the camera lens to add more realism. And then you can also load in your filter image. So just if you watch this aperture preview, if I enable the lens scratches, you can see it actually sort of pretends internally that you have a real camera and you're sort of blocking the camera with um, these star patterns and this is how the light would behave inside of the camera lens. So that's exactly what I did for the thumbnail image. I just did a bunch of V-Ray disc lights and I just boosted the bloom and glare pretty high up um, just to make it obvious 
for the thumbnail is probably a bit unrealistic, but I just wanted to really emphasize that. So again, it's super simple, just in your VRA frame buffer, enable lens effects, and then you can play with these settings to get the kind of look that you're after. So as always, I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot more tutorials on the channel and I'll be uploading more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.